Hey guys, Charles from Halt's Boots here, and today I have something actually pretty interesting. It's the CTR Maestri 3 remake, and it's a one-to-one -one remake of the original CTR Maestri 3 that came out nine, 10 years ago, so this should be a pretty interesting boot. All right guys, so the Nike CTR Maestri 3 remake is here and it's in the black and yellow colorway, which was the launch colorway. And this actually is a pair that Nike have done a one-to-one -one complete remake on. So in theory, this is actually exactly what the boots would have been like when they released, I wanna say it was 2012, 2013 maybe was last time we saw the CTR. That's right before I got into boots and, and started collecting and, and kind of just being a boot head. So I, I'm not entirely sure about the CTRs and I haven't taken the time to learn, but it should be a one-to-one -one remake and should look exactly how it did when Nike first produced them. Now, I don't know if this box is how the original looked, but I did go with my 9 US and it does have the original like texturing that are, uh, that's on the boots. So if you see here, all these dimples and stuff, that's exactly what's gonna be on the boots. And I actually really do like this box. I like that you can just tell it's a CTR box. It's got the logo there. It's got the split design here. And I, I really think it's something that Nike should do more on their modern boots. It's just, the boxes are boring. It can't cost that much more to make. You know, if it's an extra four or $5, you're just doing your fans a service, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open them up now. And again, just if you can see, look at that detailing in the box here. We have the logo, just like a black line there. And then we've got the Nike swoosh. Also really nice that the detail continues on the inside. And we even have CTR on the paper. So that's really cool as well. And check these out. What's really cool about these boots is they have the Kangolite upper, which is sort of like a fake leather. And that's just gonna provide a nicer touch on the ball. And I'm someone who enjoys fake leather, or not fake leather, but regular leather. And having recently tried the Tiempo 10s with that fake leather, I'm not opposed to it anymore, at least not how I thought I was. So um, it's definitely gonna be something I'm looking at is how well this is upper perform. And again, there's those dimples that's on the outside of the box. It has that same CTR sole plate. So this is the exact same thing that was on the original. You know, we have the ACC logo here. I wanna say this might've been the first pair to actually have ACC or around the first generations where they started ACC, at least I think, I'm not entirely sure, but we've also got this rubber element here on the inside. And it was kind of interesting is it's like rubber there and then it's got little, um, I don't know how we can see, but like little dots there. So you've got dots on every single one of these. And you know, maybe that just catches the ball a little bit better on top of the rubber element. But you know, just a first glance at this boot, this boot is definitely sick. And we even have the original, if I can pull it out here, insole. I mean, maybe the bottom's different than how the insole looked, but I believe this is the same coating that the insoles had. And it's like a thicker, uh, not a thicker, but more of like a slick vinyl, kind of how I want to say the Tiempo 9 made in Italy's were, where they just had that vinyl, vinyl insole that did not really help. So hopefully this won't matter. I'm definitely going to try to play and test these out with this insole first and just kind of see how it goes. But I mean, this boot is still really cool and I'm, and I'm, I'm pretty happy that they gave us a one-to-one -one remake. Now, would I have preferred the Maestri 3? I don't think so. And I don't think other boot aficionados and boot heads would have either just because the Maestri 2 and I think the original CTR was really a, like, a, like a culture favorite, but it's still a cool boot and I'm glad they ended up doing a one-to-one -one remake. So hopefully we'll start to see more one-to-one -one remakes soon, whether it's the Magista, whether it's something older, you know, a Euro Clash remake would be really cool just with all of those older, you know, the Vapor, the T90, all of that stuff would be sick to see, but you know, who knows what they've got in store. I do know that they are making a red version. I believe it's just this same exact silo and, and a model and everything, it's just gonna be red instead of yellow. I could be wrong here, but I think that's what they're doing. And it kind of just reminds me of what they did with the Phantom Venom Ultra, where we just had the, I think the orange color drop first, and then we had that like wild berry color second. So maybe that's what they're doing here, but I think it's not set to come out till August. I could be wrong, it might be end of July and August, but I'm not entirely sure because nothing has been said about them yet. However, these boots have not really been a secret. It's been known for, I want to say four or five months now. And I even have a few reseller friends of mine who have had these in hand and sold a few pairs. So they, they weren't really um, like hidden that well. So as for the red and black pair, it's kind of interesting that I haven't seen one of those surface yet, but I'm sure someone's going to have a pair soon. Um, but other than that, we're just going to kind of jump in and do a few more tech specs, talk about the boot a little bit more and end the video. So this is a boot that I actually didn't really care that it, it became a thing. You know, I got into boots like 2015, right around when the 11 Pro came out. That's what really got me in love with boots. So anything before then, I don't really know a lot about other than like the Magista, the Hypervenom and all like the 
the World Cup boots from 2014. So the CTRs, that's when they were pretty much gone and you know, there was no more T90s either. And so I just never really wore these. Um, I'm, I am glad that they're doing one-to-one -one remakes, like I said, that kind of makes me more hopeful for the future. And you know, they did a good job on this boot, it seems for the most part, being in an exact one-to-one -one upper. I've seen a few people that I know on Instagram compare to their um, original like CTRs, and it seems pretty close, so I can't really hate them on that. And there's no real main detail you can point out that says, hey, this isn't the original, other than maybe I think the tag and then like the ART code is gonna be different. I, again, I could be wrong, but I, to me it makes more sense that they would just do a new ART code because it's been almost 10 years or 10 years. And another thing I didn't really talk about in the unboxing was the heel counter here. And I was talking to my friend News Soccer Shop today. He was telling me how, cause he had these, he's one of the people who had these before they came out. And he was telling me how the heel felt really cheap and like a takedown. And now that I'm really feeling it, it really does feel like just like a cheap takedown. And you know, I, I'm assuming it's what the CTR was like. And it, you know, it does feel cheap, but I do kind of like that it's a really soft, like you can see here, like flexible heel, like heel tab up top. And which is what I prefer on boots. And then you have like a harder heel, heel counter, ugh, heel counter on the bottom, which is I, I personally prefer like a harder heel counter here. And then you have it a bit softer up top. So there's no real rubbing or, or any like stiffness on your Achilles. It kind of moves with like your Achilles and your heel. So I kind of like that, but you know, it does really just kind of feel cheap. Another thing that happened is after I took them out of the box um, and I'm pointing over there cause I do it on the other side of this room, um, they already creased. Like I put them on for a minute and there's already like creasing on there. I don't think you'll be able to really tell from this angle, but you know, I put the boots on and, and they're creasing and, and I don't care if my boots are creased. I'm all for wearing your boots, no matter how old or new, but just immediately, immediately like, come on, is that, is that what we're doing? So we'll see about that. And again, I talked about the insole, which really reminds me of the Tiempo 9 made in Italy, where it was just super sleek vinyl that I really didn't get any grip on. So I'll see how this insole feels. Maybe I'm just treating it too harshly. And if that's the case, I'll probably switch in an 11 Pro insole or just another like vapor insole from a while ago that I have broken in. And I think that might also reduce some of the volume in the boot if it's just a, like a broken down, like worn in insole. And that will kind of allow my foot to fill this boot a bit nicer because when I did have them on, it felt like there's a little bit of extra room in the toe. But that being said, I don't think I could fit in an eight and a half because I think they'd be way too narrow. So I'm gonna see how the nine does and hopefully that it fulfills everything I need. So a couple last touching points here before we end the video is I wanted to talk about the stud pattern on the sole plate and I actually kind of like it. You know, it's hard for you to see here so I'll put some better images above right now, but it actually has a pretty short stud pattern, like studs. Um, and, I, and it's not a very aggressive stud pattern. Like they're definitely in, in um, places that I haven't seen before necessarily. And it kind of seems like you have three different places for studs. So you have the back four here, which aren't really bladed. They're kind of like a half conical stud. So kind of think almost like some tempos we've seen or like the, the Copa Pure 0.1 sole plate or the old Nemesis sole plate. That's kind of what these studs are like on almost all the boots. So you have the contact here in the heel. Then you have this section up here where, the, where this black part is right here. And then you have the other two panels up here. So it's like contact here, here, and here versus like all the way up, which is an interesting way to design a sole plate. I'm not necessarily against it. I don't think that this boot will be bad for turf or for grass. I mean, honestly, it's probably gonna perform better on grass, but I don't think this is a sole plate that's aggressive enough to really do any sort of real like traction or any issues on turf. Now I'm definitely gonna test that out, but you know, it definitely is a sole plate that I'm excited to try and I've not seen a sole plate like this before other than maybe like the GS360. So definitely pretty cool. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys today in this video. I just wanted to get these out of the box, show you guys what's up. Next week, I'm gonna be doing the on foot review of these. So this is just a kind of like open up the box, give you guys a first look, see how the new CTR remake looks like. And then we're gonna progress forward. So next week you'll see these on feet and hopefully I have a good review for you guys. Hopefully they perform very, very well and they will be the hyped boot that everybody says they are and like the kind of like cult classic or iconic boot. But with that being said, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Please drop me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Did they get the right CTR model? I don't think they did. I think they probably should have done the one or the two. But regardless, I always love hearing your guys' thoughts and make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.